But is it me or like Mexican people only date within their culture? All right, disclaimer, we do not speak for all Mexicans or all of California. This is just our opinion and our personal experiences growing up. So we hope we can answer your question. Your question is, why do all Mexicans parents- Date within their own culture. Not, yeah, not, aren't they allowed to date yes. within their own culture? All right, well, I can only give you our opinion, right? Our opinion is, I think, I think uh, me most Mexicans, like us, for example, we're very family oriented. So when you get married, you're, you stay with your family, especially if you're a daughter, you stay with your family, you stay with your parents, you guys get together on the weekends, you go to the flea market, you take your husband, everybody kind of knows each other, you kind of yeah. know the culture, so that's what it is. I'm not saying that you can't do that if, you're, if it's not in your culture, however, if you didn't come up with that upbringing, it might feel very overbearing. Overbearing, yes. very intrusive, uh, because you're always so close. Some people are very open with their family. They're going to talk about your problems. They're going to mm -hmm. talk about you know things that irk them about you. And if you're not used to that, you're going to be like, why are you telling all of yeah. our business? And why do you have to see your mom again? Oh, my God, your dad, oh, this. And so it can create conflict. Um, so I, I think that's the main area and although why. other people they do you go out of their culture um they have kids with people out of their culture um well us growing up our rule in the house was we weren't allowed to date mexican nationals uh although my mom was from mexico uh my dad you know he did bring her over here the right way and he just didn't want that for us because a lot of paperwork you have to do and all that and he didn't want us dating anyone that was a uh, what um like he just didn't want the trouble. He didn't, like you said, he's like, although love is a beautiful thing, you can't control who you fall in love with. If that happens, well, it happens, fine. But if you can avoid it, why not? He's like, because that's just so much work. It's unless you know the process, unless you've been through it, it pretty much, it, it, because there's the upbringing too. There's many differences between being uh, from a Tejano mm -hmm. born dad, a Chicano dad, and then a Mexican mom. It's yes. very different. The music is different. The food is different. A lot of the beliefs are different. Um, Although we do have a sister that did marry someone who wasn't Mexican, he was Filipino. And then another sister, she did marry someone who was from Mexico. So, um, so yeah, we have seen we have seen the struggles though, because there are struggles. Yes. Because unfortunately, you know, the Filipinos they're very family oriented as uh -huh. well. But again, yeah, they don't so, really like you know. But it's sometimes funny. But it's funny because yeah, it's overbearing to our sister because they're actually more family oriented yeah. than we were. So <laughs> it's a lot kind of other funny. things playing too. A lot of playing, yeah. So I hope we answered your question. Um, um, yeah. What else? Um, that, that's pretty much it. I think. Yeah, I think I mean, that's what it is. You know? Also, I, I've dated out of my race, but not anything serious because yeah, so have I. Uh, right. So, um, yeah, it was just because of that. I, I just believe, it's just how you grew up and uh, you just, if you believe in that and also if you wanna have kids with someone, you need to have these conversations of what they're yes, gonna identify do. as um, and all that stuff that goes into it. I hope that answers your question.